welcome back to my channel. I'm Tweedledee. Today, I was going to upload a footage of what I'm about to do, but I had issues with the footage, so I decided to scrap it and freeze my butt off and come out here and redo it. So, I always see a lot about the Dragon and a bunch of other big name roads people want to ride. And Dragon is overrated in my opinion. I just have no intention of really going back to it. I may at one point, but with uh, what I've been seeing on the old Facebook, because I'm kind of local to it, I see a bunch about um I see a bunch of uh 18 wheelers taking the road getting stuck uh, sports cars are always wrecking up there motorcyclists are always wrecking uh, it's just people getting a little bit uh overzealous but I digress Today, I'm going to take y'all down a road that I live on, actually. And I never really thought about doing it. But I talked to my salesman about stuff that, you know, they like watching on there and all that. Trying to get some different ideas from doing the same old, same old that everybody else is doing. And he suggested this one, and I didn't even think about it because I live on this road. But it's Dutch Valley... It's uh, Clinton addresses, but it's out in the country. And behind me, I just came from Oliver Springs. And technically, if you look at maps of uh, Devil's Triangle, some of the maps are actually screwed up. And the route they actually have you on, like this here is actually Devil's Triangle, but the actual map takes you down a gravel road where Windrock Campground and all that is. And let's just say there's no way anybody on a Harley or a sport bike needs to go down that one because them ATV guys, they're a different breed. I don't think those ATVs have brakes or anything like that. They just one speed and go. But they do kind of have you know, Devil's Triangle, you do have to deal with them guys popping up out of nowhere because of all the trails from Windrock. But you take a left right here and follow it down all the way to its stop sign down in, I guess that's Bryceville. Hang another left. And that's where all the fun really begins because of the switchbacks. And you're pretty ways up in the altitude once you get towards the top too. I mean, it's not the tallest thing around, but you still got some good views. But this is Dutch Valley. I decided to reshoot. So let's hope it turns out good. I'm originally from uh, Mississippi. My dad was from here, lived out here on this road, and he moved into uh, the city, then moved down to Mississippi, where he met my mom, and I was uh, created. But my senior year of high school, we moved back, well, he moved back, I moved up here. <laughs> and then I went into the military, and after I got done with the active duty, came back, stayed out here, went into the reserves and that's where I was medically retired from. But I really, you know, I've looked at different places, different communities, and I just love the location of this place. I mean, as you can see, it does have some really good views. 
and there's a train that comes through you get used to and them guys they like blowing their horns after midnight for some reason but the valley kind of through here goes wide then it kind of chokes off a little bit I don't I honestly don't know if that's just from where people hadn't cleared out land to make it as wide or it's just the way the terrain is I'm I think it's the terrain but it is a beautiful area and this road you can't have fun on I do see sport bike riders and Harley's galore. I mean, there are some other bikes that you do see out here. I just had to run to town for some real quick and pass the sport bike guy on the way out. But instead of going to where I live, to my house, I'm going to go all the way to the end. And show you all the sights. And I'm sorry, I kind of procrastinated. I had a goal of getting videos out in September, and I was out actually making a bunch, but I kind of noticed I rambled a lot and then trying to learn how to edit and use two cameras. I still find that a little difficult. I want start playing with that a little more because usually I have like during the summer when I was filming I was using my half shell and a wireless mic and I'd have my two GoPros right here one facing forward one facing me and I'm still trying to learn how to separate the audio and you know cut out and paste sections after syncing them and all that a lot of these guys on YouTube do make it look way easier than it actually is. But I gotta learn, it's something new. This is something, I'm retired so I don't have nothing to really do. So I figure I ride as much as I can. So why not film that? I fished too, but I hadn't really been fishing too much this year. I think it was on my birthday, I ended up catching two 20 something pound catfish. And I, I think I may have gone back one time after that. Right now would be a good time to go catch catfish. Especially at Kingston Steam Plant, because of all the warm water coming through. A lot of the bait fish get up in it. But that's neither here nor there. This is the part of the valley where I was talking about slimming down so pretty much hill there mountain there I have noticed the land values out here have gone up quite a bit and that was before all the inflation hit No, I really thought about it when I was watching the last video. I didn't see how many miles long this was. And I was going to check it today. And I forgot. I feel like a jerk now because I forgot that. That would be a good thing to know. And usually we don't have this stuff here going on with power people. he's nice enough to let me go
see how it all of a sudden just widens out real good. We, I would say we get lucky and maybe see some elk because the TWRA did release elk out here. But I am still yet to see them driving through, whether in my truck or my bike. I think the weather people was wrong too. They said it's supposed to get to 52, 53 degrees today. I checked my phone before I left the house. It was showing 48. And I really kind of wishing I had some heated gear right now. But I kind of have other things on a priority list than heated gear. I, I'm going to change this dash trim out because that chrome being out here in the mountains going up and down and the roads not being perfectly flat the sun does hit that beam right back into my eyes and that's a cop oops I ain't worried about me but I'm gonna get the Harley black line dash trim for this and I'll probably end up doing an install video on it when I get it purchased and all that. And I want to get the cruise control for here. So that one I'm probably going to have my buddy that owns Hard Luck Custom Cycles in Oak Ridge do. And hopefully I can get it when it's cold because that's usually his slower time. And I'm pretty sure he can knock that out pretty quick anyways. But another thing I want to get for it is the saddlebags, the Harley Davidson saddlebags, the quick detached ones. And of course, the big sissy bar bag. Because I do want to go to a rally. I just don't know what one I want to go to. I don't know if I want to go down to Florida, South Carolina, or South Dakota. I'm leaning towards South Dakota, but that's, I think, 22 hour drive from my house to there. I don't know if my body can handle that on the bike, and I don't know if I'll be able to get my hands on an enclosed trailer. And I also got to think of lodging too there, and how long I'm going to go for. And, you know, it's, I really want to go for the whole week but we'll see if not this year maybe next year well this year coming up anyways the year after speed limit on those roads 45 and I think everybody, everybody pretty much does uh, over that I'm guilty of that in certain spots and it's only in certain spots but it is what it is I'd love to have this out here. All that open land. I just, whoo, they were in a pothole. I just wouldn't know what to do with myself.
I will say the one good thing about my breakout is the seat's right on top of the oil tank, so riding in cold weather, at least my butt stays nice and warm. I know when I, my last bike, I had a Sportster in it. It didn't keep your butt warm for nothing. And right today, I'm shooting for an edit-free video with the exception of my intro. So hopefully, it does pretty good. And I like it, and I'll put it out. But I'm almost at the end of my route. As you can see, right down there where those cars are, the stop signs just there. You can go left, go Lake City, right to go to Clinton. Both of them has really good twisty roads. I'm not gonna go all the way down through there today. But if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up, leave a comment, and hit that subscribe button. And hit that little bell notification too. I'm going to do my best to get some more footage for the winter, but I can't promise that I will not have a gap in my stuff. So I will say next year I will plan ahead and do better, seeing how I got a late start on all this. But I guess I'll see you on the next one.